The next movie that I saw, which I saw yesterday, wow, just dropped. What you saw yesterday? Uh, the Danny no. Boyle film? No, that wouldn't be a first impression. I already talked about that one. I think we both talked about did. that one actually. <laughs> uh, is a weird horror themed documentary mm. called Wrinkles the Clown. Oh, another clown. Another clown. Is this one but funny? Because we've been. This is two episodes in a row. We haven't had any funny clowns, and I'm I'm about at the edge of my no funny clown like equivalent. You know, I gotta find a balance between funny clown or bad clowns. Otherwise, it's just gonna ruin so, all clowns. This one is not a funny clown. God damn. Uh, <laughs> this is the documentary about Wrinkles the Clown. Fuck. <laughs> who who lives in uh, Southwest Florida. And can be hired by parents to come and scare their naughty kids. That's how the movie's set up. And it's fucked up. Because I think the psychology behind both the person who's actually doing this for their job. And the person hiring and, them. And also the parents hiring yeah. them. It's just, there's so many issues with all of it. Uh, and, you know, Wrinkles got kind of blown up by social media. And, he, like, he had his, he just, he was sticking stickers around in florida with like with his photo and his phone number and that blew up too so his cell phone is just getting blown up you can probably still call him and he's got a voicemail and some like there are scenes where parents would just call and le and play the voicemail for their like their children like they're like three-year-old kids and you would just hear like these kids crying because they were so terrified mm -hmm. of the thought of being visited by wrinkles and I kind of wish we would have dove into that part, like the psychology behind the parents who would do this, you know, because it's fucked up, right? Yeah. Like these kids are, when I was a kid, I grew up in a world where I knew Jason wouldn't come to my door and scare me. I knew that when the TV was turned off and I went to sleep, although the thought of him possibly being real never actually could exist, but in a world where there's actually a clown... That actually does visit kids. Yeah, this is a real man. This isn't like... This is a real person who lives in the city that you live in. Like, it's fucked up. I think. Yeah, that's um, wild. I know. And the, the documentary actually does something really interesting, which I don't know if I've ever seen another doc do, where about the first two-thirds are one story. And the final third isn't just, like, a sub-story of that story. It completely flips everything you thought you had been watching on its head and completely changes everything. I, I think it's a fun watch. It's it's under 90 minutes. It might be under 85 minutes. That's not bad at I all. I think. No, it's short. It was an interesting watch. That's Wrinkles the Clown. Uh, well, that'll do it for that snipperoni. Snipperoni? More like pepperoni, like the little circle right in the middle of the screen there. Huh? Is that anything? <laughs> Maybe like two deep yep. dish pizzas on either side? That could be something. I don't know. If you're hungry, <laughs> click one of them. Click away. <laughs>